Welcome everyone to the Tactical Tavern. My name is Tomas Elias and in this video we are reviewing what is possibly one of the scariest things I have seen in the everyday carry community. The Titanium Stick Pen from Shomer Tech. This is a self-defense tool hidden in plain sight designed for non-permissive environments. We're going to put this up against the Tactical Tavern test with 25 possible points based on price, functionality design, dependability, versatility, and carryability. With that being said, let's stab into it. Before we begin, if you love gadgets gear and upgrading your everyday carry, take a moment to drop a like and subscribe for more content like this. All right, first up is price, and this product retails for just $20. This is handmade in the USA out of premium titanium materials and common pen bodies that you can find literally anywhere. The quality and construction is certainly there, and I feel that if you had to ditch this in a certain type of situation, you're not gonna be out a whole bunch of money. I love supporting things that are creative and high quality, and that's why this scores a five out of five on pricing. Now, let's see what that money gets you with functionality and design. Housing the point on this bad boy is the Papermate pen. This looks just like a mundane pen you can find literally anywhere, and I love that modern day camouflage. Embedded into the cap of this pen is a four inch spike comprised of six AL4V titanium that's 0 0.064 inches in diameter. It has been ground on one side to mimic that of a hypodermic needle, and it actually offers a slight bit of cutting edge. This whole tool also weighs in at just 0.02 ounces. It's simple and literally to the point, which is why it scores a five out of five on functionality and design. Next up is dependability. I really enjoy how the titanium insert is flexible and rather resilient. I've stabbed this into a multitude of targets ranging from soft to medium, and I've had no issues with the titanium bending or any of the components loosening up. A good thing to note is that it's made out of titanium and that is softer than steel. I have noticed a little bit of edge deformation. That being said, it is still actually very sharp. Another bonus to it being out of titanium is that it is non-rusting which means that you can carry this into a saltwater environment without it corroding. Whatever material they use to seal this in place certainly does the trick. And I do feel that for extended and really hard use situations into hard materials, it may not fare that well. However, I feel that it certainly has enough capability for soft to medium targets, which is why it scores a three out of five on dependability. All right, next up is versatility. On first glance, I feel like a lot of people may look at this and just assume it has one purpose, However, I'm here to tell you that I've actually found a few uses for this that aren't related to stabbing. And I will certainly attest that it makes an excellent point, especially to get someone off of you or as a last ditch self-defense tool. Throughout my testing, I found it to come in handy for small detailed cutting work because there is a slight edge to it. I've also found it to be very easy to resharpen. All you have to do is get some high grit sandpaper and follow that same edge and you're back in business. Something surprising and exciting for me is that I found it was able to help me escape certain restraints, namely duct tape and zip ties because of that edge. When wound up with duct tape and not able to burst through them, you could certainly implement this pen to start picking away and break apart that duct tape. As pertaining to industrial strength zip ties, I found it very easy to undo that small tab and slide out through them. Now, I must admit I did use it to puncture some potatoes while in the kitchen, but ultimately I feel like you're not going to be able to use this for a variety of everyday carry cutting tasks because it's very purpose driven, which is why it scores a three out of five on versatility. All right, last up is carryability. This pen is lightweight and disappears in the pocket. This pen is very comfortable to carry because it's such a commonplace object. You can wear it in your shirt pocket, your pants pocket, or even tuck it behind your ear. As you can see in this test, we compared it to a regular pen and had surprising results. I feel like it's important to note that this sets off a very similar magnetic signature to that of a regular pen. Do with that information as you will. Now this does look like a writing implement and I highly suggest you follow all your local laws and regulations. That being said, if you needed to carry it for a sticky situation, this would certainly do the trick and you'll have it on you when you need it most. It's also good to note that it's ambidextrous and you can deploy it very easily because all you have to do is slip off that cap and it's ready to go one-handed. If you wanted a little bit more of a reliable deployment, you could easily wrap some tape and some string around there, create a static line so when you deploy the cap, body falls right to the side. You can literally carry this almost anywhere your imagination takes you, and it is for this reason it scores a five out of five on carryability. Overall, the titanium stick pen from Shomer Tech scores a 21 out of 25 and is an 84% pass on the tactical tavern test. I want this video to serve as a guide for those interested in protecting themselves in a wide variety of areas, knowing that there are certain options out there for you. I also want this to be a guide for those into security and personal protection that this is something to look out for and that these items exist. If you enjoyed this review and you found value from it, please show us by dropping a like and subscribing because it helps support the channel. While you're there, turn on post notifications so you are the first to know of new videos dropping every Tuesday and Thursday. Also, follow us on Instagram at Tactical Tavern to get a behind the scenes look at new gear and the testing process. With that being said, my name is Tomas Salas. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, be prepared, be practical, stay tactical.